Patients that have an undiagnosed problem in the abdomen or pelvis may be asked to have a diagnostic laparoscopy. Diagnostic laparoscopy allows the doctor to see inside the abdomen by using medical scopes attached to special video cameras. If your doctor recommends a diagnostic laparoscopy for you, the decision whether or not to have this procedure is yours. This patient education tutorial will help you better understand the benefits and risks of diagnostic laparoscopy. The tutorial discusses when the procedure is needed and what to expect before, during, and after the procedure. What is it? A laparoscope is a medical scope inside a hollow, thin tube. The laparoscope is inserted inside the body through small incisions. It is connected to a high-intensity light and a camera so the doctor can see structures inside the body. Certain problems of the abdomen cannot be fully diagnosed through physical examination, x-rays, and other radiological tests. Diagnostic laparoscopy allows the doctor to look directly at the structures of the abdomen and pelvis. The remaining part of this section lists some structures in the abdomen and pelvis. Structures of the digestive system include the liver and gallbladder, the stomach and small intestines, the pancreas, the colon and appendix. Structures of the urinary system include the kidneys, the ureters, the urinary bladder. Structures of the female reproductive organs include the ovaries, the fallopian tubes, the uterus. When is it needed? Many medical conditions can require a diagnostic laparoscopy. The following are descriptions of some of these conditions. Your doctor will tell you which one may apply to you. There are many causes of abdominal pain. Diagnostic laparoscopy can help to diagnose the cause of pain. Causes of abdominal pain include inflammation of an organ, scar tissue, adhesions, infection, internal bleeding, fluid accumulation, or cancer. Sometimes the doctor or the patient can feel a lump or mass in the abdomen. The mass may also be discovered by x-ray. Diagnostic laparoscopy is used to look directly at the mass and obtain a tissue sample for diagnosis. This is called a biopsy. Diagnostic laparoscopy can also be used to detect ectopic pregnancy, which is when the fertilized egg grows in the fallopian tube instead of the uterus. It can also detect endometriosis and other problems of the female reproductive organs. For these kinds of uses, it is also called gynecologic laparoscopy. Before the procedure Diagnostic laparoscopy is usually ordered after other diagnostic tests such as CT scan, MRI, or ultrasound are done. Before diagnostic laparoscopy, the doctor usually orders routine blood tests and urine tests. In some cases, a chest x-ray or an electrocardiogram may be needed. Most diagnostic laparoscopies are performed in an outpatient setting, which means you go home the same day the procedure is performed. You should not drink or eat for eight hours before diagnostic laparoscopy. You can shower the evening before your scheduled operation. Cleaning your belly button with soap, water, and a cotton swab is a good idea. If you take medications, discuss this with your surgeon. If you take a blood thinner or aspirin regularly, inform your doctor prior to scheduling the operation. The effects of blood thinners need to be stopped before laparoscopy to avoid excessive bleeding during the operation. Your doctor will give you more specific instructions to prepare for diagnostic laparoscopy. Instructions differ based on the age and medical condition of the patient. The Procedure Diagnostic laparoscopy is most often performed under general anesthesia. Rarely it can be done under local or regional anesthesia. 
If you know of any allergy you have to an anesthetic medicine, tell your doctor or nurse the anesthetist. With general anesthesia, the patient is asleep and does not feel any pain. A catheter is inserted through the urethra into the bladder to empty it. The skin of the abdomen is cleansed and sterile drapes are applied. A small incision is made above or below the navel. A needle is inserted into the incision and a gas is injected into the abdominal cavity. The gas expands the abdominal cavity, making it bigger. This makes it safer for the doctor to see and examine the body organs. The laparoscope is inserted and the organs are examined. If needed, additional smaller incisions are made for instruments that allow the doctor to move and hold body tissues and organs. When the doctor is finished with the examination or the biopsy, the laparoscope is removed and the incisions are closed with sutures. Finally, the bandages are applied. The smaller incisions may be closed with band-aids only.